where they say, oh, now I get it. Now I see the problem. And you might not know instantly how to fix that problem. It may take many, many, many years. But if you don't know that problem even exists, how, how do you tackle it? You've got to recognize it. And then I think the really brave leaders are those who are then prepared to actually talk about that publicly and put it out to the stakeholders. Um, again, why, you know, as pioneers, you're blazing the trail and saying, actually, these are the things we're, we're working on. And being prepared to stand up and say, yeah, we've got these things right. These are the areas we're tackling next. Here's where we need the help. That's where we bring the community together, where education comes in, and we can start learning across sectors and across countries, uh, which again is why we want to, to replicate this, this community uh, around the world, why it's so fantastic that, that you guys and Wouter, you're, you're, you're leading the Belgian FutureFit community. We want to replicate this uh, you know, 200 times around the world so that then we can help just convey the information from one to the other. What, what can the Belgian community teach the Danish community? What can the FutureFit healthcare sector teach the FutureFit real estate industry and vice versa? Because they will have solutions that, that you don't know are there and, and, and vice versa. We always, um, there's a great example of the pharmaceutical industry and, um, and counterfeit drugs in, in Africa. So, you know, the folks who walk around with all, all of these tablets for sale, but so many of them are counterfeit. So actually rather, you know, you, you hard earned money, you're buying medicine that actually isn't only not making you better, it's potentially it's got very dangerous chemicals in or things that will make you worse. A simple solution was introduced from a completely different industry, which was just a scratch tab and a code which you type into your, your mobile phone and it just sends an SMS and you get a message back that says whether or not it's a legitimate packet of drugs. Fantastic. And that was a great, nothing to do with future fit, but that was a great example of two industries sharing that technology and ideas and the pharmaceutical industry, that wasn't something that they worked in, so why would they know that? Um, and what we want to do is capture all these types of ideas so that when you're facing an issue, say with embedded carbon, what do other people in the FutureFit community know about that that we can bring and what you learn that we can put back into the community? I think that's where it starts to get really, really exciting. Uh, 